I think journalists have been working in their own mindset for too long, have not been listening to their readers. There's a movement out there where people share information, thoughts, creativity, and the journalism world is not automatically a part of it. We need to understand the social web to make our journalism better and more relevant. That's why we need to improve our technology to see what is on the minds of people. If we don't, journalism is not going to be there in 10, 20 years. When our editor-in-chief came back with this vision, we were like, okay, how can we do this? How can quality journalism stay relevant? The Listening Center is a suite of tools keeping track of 400 million data sources. When something is shared within one minute, it's in our system. It's not just social media, it's news sites, discussion boards, and other platforms. And every journalist has access to those reportings. It creates more room for quality journalism because we save so much time. My colleague, she was covering political far-right movements in Germany. She used the information from the listening center and found out that the party was trying to get rid of one of their political leaders. Ja, ich bin eine von den 230 lokal und regional Reporterinnen, von denen mein Chef Michael Bröker vorhin sprach. We broke the story and other media outlets jumped on it and this was a huge story for us. So with the DNI fund, we were able to create the trend recognition module where we try to predict viral stories. We discovered we were quicker on stories. We were better informed about what's going on in our region. I think to stay relevant as a journalist, you have to know what people care about and then you can make better informed decisions. You need to be relevant and we need to stay relevant and this only works if we understand what's out there in the social web and the digital world. My hope for journalism is that in future every journalist has access to a system like this.